Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is eight three-minute rounds in the light middleweight division. Firstly, wearing the black and silver shorts, weighing in 11 stone and eight ounces. Fighting out the red corner from West Bromwich with a record of 20 wins against seven losses and two draws. Please welcome Marcus Portman. And across the ring this evening, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black shorts, weighing 11 stone, two pounds, two ounces. He hails from Swindon and is undefeated in uh, 15 professional fights with eight coming inside the distance. As an amateur, he won 2006 Commonwealth Games, the 2006 Four Nations, and was a 2005 ABA champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Swindon, Jamie Cox. Your referee in charge of the action is John Lee of Westbrook, who will now give his final instruction to both boxers. So another fighter we've uh, not seen much of this last year or so, Jamie Cox. He's unbeaten in uh, 14 fights. Takes on Marcus Portman this evening. Decent matchup. This Portman is um, well. He's a, a decent kind of gatekeeper at domestic level. A few wins on his record, and uh, Jamie Cox might get a test tonight. Always in exciting fights, Jamie Cox. 2006 Commonwealth uh, Games gold medalist. He's been out of the ring for um, some time, for various reasons. Looks like the uh, the best fight of the evening so far, Colin Hart. At least we've got some action right from the very first bell. Uh, <coughs> Cox, of course, should be far further advanced in his career than he is. Uh, it's a shame he should at least be a champion by now. Uh, but uh, as you say, for various reasons, his career has been broken up. He's been out the ring, in and out the ring. Uh, and uh, we've never seen uh, the, the Cox we should have seen, you know, of the last couple of years. He's, he's, a, he's a very, very good talent. And so far, his talent has been wasted through inactivity. He was uh, sort of banging on the door for a, a British title shot of welterweight when uh, Kel Brook was the uh, the champion. He's now moved to light middle. Can't wait. Can't make uh, 10 stone 7 anymore. So he winds up at 154 pounds. That was a great shot by uh, Portman though. A, a yeah. left hand and it shook Jamie Cox up. Yeah, caught he him as he came in. He, he, he dropped his uh, southpaw right and uh, Portman immediately flashed over a left hand. Caught him flush. He took it well. It's like watching a fight in the mirror. This one, two southpaws. And Cox, um, well he's reputation for being exciting and um, maybe a bit lax on the in the defense now and again that was a good um, good left hand yeah brilliant yeah. left hand Portman in a little bit of trouble here lots of action in this one oh there's more action in this one and uh, that we've seen so far this evening in all the fights you look at Cox Colin and he, he looks quality doesn't he very very fast hands and he seemed to uh, pack a bit of a wallop too I noticed that Portman's uh, right side his face is swelling up yep. and Cox is marked up as well he has on occasion in the past um, Jamie Cox reminded me a bit of uh, Joe Calzaghe those fast hands and a bit wild as well but uh, Joe had a much better defence well, he also had a fantastic chin Joe, Joe yes. Calzaghe so Portman's been around the block it looks like he's got the map of the world tattooed on his torso. There's not an inch of flesh <laughs> that's not covered by a tattoo. There's some pictures here in, uh, in Jamie Cox's corner. And some action here from the first round. Plenty of it as well. That was that lovely left hand from uh, Marcus Portman. 
Caught Cox uh, flush. There we go. On the top of the head as well. Great shot. Didn't he take it well? He did. Portman's record, by the way, 20 wins and uh, seven losses, two draws. So he comes with a bit of ambition this evening. Well, I, that's what I like. People have won more fights than they've lost. Shows that they still have some ambition left. You see, Cox is uh, determined to get him out of there. Whether he will or not, I don't know. But uh, he does like a scrap, doesn't he? He does. Oh, very good left. Oh, Two-handed punching by Cox. But uh, he hasn't landed clean on uh, Portman's chin. Well, I guess Cox needs to sort of make a bit of a statement, doesn't he, Colin? He's been out for so long and had this real stop-start career. Over a few fights ago, he was sort of on the brink of... Um, was like breaking through to um, British level. You know, he topped a bill in, um, in his hometown of Swindon, didn't he? Yeah, we were, I remember that night. But that was a so long time ago. Yeah, that was a sort of a Valentine's night uh, two years ago. And he fought Jason Rushton in Swindon. He, just looking at his record now, he fought on um, February the 13th, 2010 was his last fight. So 15 months out, and that was the only fight he had in 2010. You get on for one fight in uh, in almost two years. And he should be the best years of his of his life. Really, he turns 25 in um, well he in should August. Be, so yeah, he should be getting towards his prime. As I say, it's it's a it's such a shame because he's highly talented and exciting to watch, and he's, uh, you know his career has never taken off. He's being lined up. With uh, fights with the like, uh, likes of um, Sam Webb, who's the, uh, the current champion, Bradley Price, Martin Sam Conception. Sam just got well. beat, didn't he? Oh, I beg your pardon, yeah. yeah. So, some um, big fights out there for, for Jamie Cox if he can get this win tonight and make a bit of a statement. Probably shot then a little uh, left hand as well. Good left hand there from Cox. He's getting through now far more uh, than he was. And he's... Uh, a couple of good left hands as well. He's beginning to dominate this fight. But Pullman's still dangerous. shot from Portman, right hand. No defence at all from Cox. But fortunately for him, there was no power behind the punch either. Well, that was definitely Cox's round. Yeah, better round from that second than the uh, than the first. Some uh, colourful language there in uh, Marcus Portman's corner. Imagine he's in um, decent shape for this fight as well. Had plenty of notice. Four or five weeks, so someone who's been called in at the last minute. And there's a good shot that he landed on uh, Cox's right hand. Round three. Cox comes out swinging again. He'd be popular only, Colin, I think, if he does make it to, uh, to title level because he's Absol all action. Absolutely. This is what people pay their money to see. They want to see action, excitement. You know, it's boxing is, uh, of course, a sport, but it's also part of the entertainment industry. People come and turn on their TV sets to be entertained. 
and they want to see two men trying, not just one man trying. Well, good shot from uh, Cox again with that left hand. Portland spending a lot of this fight backed up on the ropes. Of his own. A low blow. But of course, if you, if you throw leather like Cox does, you're you are going to get hit, aren't you? You're bound to get hit, and he knows that. And he's prepared to, to, to take a shot here and there to make uh, his statement. Well, I have seen him. Take a few shots, Colin, and never really wobbled. I think he's got a, a decent enough chin, but yeah. as he moves up, he uh, might need to tighten up the defence. He got clipped again there by uh, by Portland with that right hand. Cox beginning to unload. That's three, four left hands, and uh, our referee, John Keane, says that's enough. Now, uh, Marcus Portman goes back to his corner with uh, blood on his face. Not a very happy chap, but... Well, he wasn't fighting back. That was the uh, probably the, the the reason. But I mean, he uh, he made the cursory complaint to referee Keane, but I think deep down he's not sorry to be out of there. You see, Jamie Cox just a little nick around the right eye as well. So, been a timely yeah. stoppage for him. Portman still sort of shrugging his shoulders now. At the uh, yeah, ringside but doctor, but he's got a smile on his he face. He has, yeah. He was getting out of class, wasn't he, Colin? Well, he's getting hurt too. Here's the replay of the stoppage. That was the I think the first left hand from uh, from Cox. It was a signal of a, a succession of um, left hands. There's another one. That was a good shot too. And um, yeah, you see, he's, he's not fighting back. Uh, the replay shows that quite clearly. A compassionate stoppage from um, John Keane. Yeah, I suppose one or two people might have thought that was a bit premature, but I've always uh, feel that referees are entitled to stop the fight too soon rather than too late. Ladies and gentlemen, at 51 seconds of round three, your referee John King has stopped the contest. He gave the marker support but was in no position to continue. The winner in the blue corner from Swindon, Jamie Cox.